Researchers are setting out on an expedition to track a growing number of marine mammals most New Yorkers wouldn't expect to find swimming in the Hudson River. Seals. I've been working with marine mammals for about 20 years and uh, doing this particular work for over eight years now, and uh, it never gets old. Yeah. Christy Biolsi <laughs> is the co founder of a group that studies pinnipeds, better known as seals. She and her team from St. Francis College are working to officially count the entire seal population living in the water surrounding New York City. CBS2 got to take along and explore a little known island south of the Verrazano Bridge near Staten Island, where they're known to hang out called Swinburne Island. And sure enough, there they are. So you have to look really closely to see these seals that blend right into the rocks. They look like rocks sitting on rocks. You can see several sunbathing along the shore and another bobbing his head out of the ocean. So far, we've seen a number of harbor seals in the water and out on the rocks, um, and actually two gray seals, which is exciting. In this one visit, Biolsi and her team photographed and counted 61 seals that can weigh anywhere between 200 and 800 pounds. Their spots on their head are like a fingerprint, so you can ID them, but it's, um, it's a very tricky process. But thanks to a partnership with tour boat operators New York Media Boat, this team is able to track them down to study every week. It's amazing to see these animals that close to the city, you know, like you're just... Uh, couple miles out. This experience isn't just exclusive to marine biologists. Tourists can buy tickets for a two-hour excursion and learn all about how seals lived in these waters more than a century ago, but temporarily disappeared as the city grew. But in the last several years, data shows the population is once again increasing. Researchers say the seals are a sign that New York waterways and the ecosystem are thriving. Out on the Hudson River, Natalie Dudridge, CBS2 News.